HCAM News received an update regarding the animal cruelty case against Louise Coleman. Louise is the director of the temporarily closed Greyhound Friends. The shelter was closed due to numerous reports of inhumane and unsanitary conditions. The judge denied the defendant's motions to dismiss the charges. The defendant's attorney claimed that the case should be dismissed because the charges were unconstitutionally vague and claimed she did not have charge or custody of the dogs. The judge denied the defendant's motion and found that there was more than sufficient evidence to demonstrate probable cause and that the reports and other evidence provided demonstrate probable cause to believe that the defendant unnecessarily failed to provide the animals with the proper sanitary environment. You can see more on our website, hcam.tv. The Department of Conservation and Recreation's Bureau of Forestry and Fire Control and Department of Fish and Game mobilized 16 state wildland firefighters from across Massachusetts at the Hopkinton State Park to travel north and assist British Columbia Canadian forces with a series of wildland fire outbreaks. On August 3rd, the Hopkinton Police Department completed their parking lot expansion project. You can see a glimpse of the new and improved parking lot right here. Here is a shot of the beautiful Claflin Fountain on the town common at sunset. We thank Stacy Scott for sending us this photo. On July 30th, Hopkinton Community Summer Bands performed at the Westboro Festival of Summer Bands. This photo was submitted by Jane McCloskey. Hopkinton High School alumni from the class of 1984 had a little get-together at Cornell's on July 27th. The event was organized by a classmate returning to town for a visit. You have a used cell phone battery you would like to get rid of? We'll bring it down to the Hopkinton Senior Center as the Senior Center is one of the locations you can bring used cell batteries to be recycled. The hours that you can submit your used button cell battery to the Senior Center is Monday through Thursday of next week, 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. or Friday, 8.30 to 2 p.m. All the proceeds go to benefit health programs at the Senior Center. The additional Dropbox locations include the Woodville Post Office, the Hopkinton Post Office, the St. John's Church, Hopkinton Library, Golden Pond, and St. Paul's Church. The Hopkinton Library has released an update regarding the library renovation and expansion project Quote, we're getting very excited to open our newly expanded and renovated building, and we hope you're excited to see it too. Library staff are appreciative to the community and the many groups and town departments who have been supportive while we have been in the temporary location and for the overall project. It is so exciting that the community is going to have a modern library for all age groups. The children's room will have an activity room, benches by the windows, computers for homework and exploring, and a puppet theater. Teens will have space to meet, read, gather around games, and collaborate on homework. Adults will enjoy comfortable chairs to read in, computers and study tables, and rooms for quiet study and work. We'll also have meeting rooms available for library events and use by community members of all ages. There will be a classroom for workshops, classes, and meetings, as well as meeting spaces for large and small groups. As always, our dedicated staff will assist the community in booking rooms, finding materials, and doing research. There is so much to look forward to, and it's coming soon. The new library will be a beautiful space in the center of town for all to enjoy. We will be closing to move back to 13 Main Street in the early fall. Please watch our website, Twitter, and Facebook for updates about the move. We will post exact dates and more information as soon as we can.